Uh, my name's Josh Littell. I wrestle Sir Samurai. I've been doing that for 11 years now. And when I started in this business with SPW, SPW and APW were rivals and they hated each other and there was bitterness and I didn't even know what the cause was, but I was, I was involved. I hated him. I hated rolling with a passion, but I didn't know the guy and, and he didn't know me and he hated me with a passion. Things were bad, but over the last couple of years, he really took the Godfather thing very seriously and he, uh, he became the Godfather of Northern California. He, p he p promoted every wrestling company and he would, not only go to the shows, but he would talk about every match and what he liked and what he didn't like. And he just showed that, that who you were isn't who you have to be. And years ago, I vowed I would pee on his grave when he died because I didn't like him that much. And now I'm sorry he's gone because I truly felt that he was a leader and he helped Northern California and not enough people do. And I just want to you know, the fact that I got to wrestle in the APW garage and I got to be on the, the memorial show. And I just feel honored that, that before he left, we became friends. And I think we were friends. And that's, uh, there's a lot of object lessons right there. And I just thank you. Well, Alexander, you are more than just a mentor, a friend, the godfather of wrestling. You are my father. You were the person that was not afraid to call me at the middle of the day or in the middle of the night and to share memories and stories about what wrestling meant to you and what wrestling meant to the state of California. You weren't afraid to yell at me and critique me and push me and motivate me to be that better ring announcer and that better person to represent your brand. I always cherish the memories that you and I had together, even if it meant just having a Jamba Juice in the morning or a Coke Zero in the afternoon or extra well crispy fries at night, or even watching endless hours of baggage. You were so pure, such a visionary. You weren't afraid to be who you were, and you entrusted that in myself as well. You allowed me to be who Donovan Troy, who you helped create. I may not be perfect, and I'll never be perfect, but I was perfect just enough for you, and that was okay. Thank you. Roland Alexander, what can you say about Roland Alexander that I'm sure is going to be said over and over and over again? Godfather of APW, Godfather of NorCal Wrestling, Godfather of Indie Wrestling. You know, he, he founded APW and he had a vision that wrestling should be done the old school way. And he drilled it into everybody's head. That's the way it should be done. I've had a ton of graduates come out of the school. As far as I'm concerned, without Roland Alexander, indie wrestling wouldn't be what it is today. Um, nobody has gotten as close to him in the last several years as I have. I actually lived with him as his roommate. I would say kind of like a little caretaker, helped him out a little bit. Um, I got to see a different side. I watched Roland change. A lot of people remember him as a more of a tyrant type person or you know, more of a hard-nosed person. <clears throat> but over the years, as his health got worse, you know, he started to see that change in Rowan, and he started to be more accepting of people and just wanted to get out there and support all these guys, these young guys, indie wrestling. And, you know, it's hard because, you know, he was trying to survive as a business, and I just want to come out here, and I want to say thank you, Rowan. You know, if anybody has ill feeling toward Rowan Alexander, it wasn't personal. It was business. Rowan is a genuine, genuinely good human being. A lot of people are going to miss him. A lot of people. And not just in NorCal. In the entire country, maybe even the entire world, everyone knows who Rowan Alexander is. Rowan, if you're watching this in heaven somewhere, I just want to say thank you. I love you. And we're all going to miss you. Uh, my name is Gabriel Ramirez. I first came to All Pro Wrestling 11, 23, 1996 for a tag team tournament. And I remember uh, walking into the gym thinking, uh, God, what a mistake this was. And uh, after watching the first match, I said, oh, that, was, that was pretty cool. After the following match, I was hooked. And I tried to find every possible way, you know, to be part of be a part of APW, Pacific Coast Sports, whatever name I had. Um, Roland, uh, it's impossible to it's impossible to say who 
who Roland was or what Roland meant to me because Roland was, there are so many levels of Roland that it's impossible to, to break down. Uh, there's the ribs, there's the, his big heart, there's his temper tantrums, there's everything that made Roland, Roland. And uh, all know at the end of the day, every time I'm driving down this long road or I see a, a certain spot we used to pull over for a show or I, I hear a name or a town that we did a show at, I'll always think of you. I'll always miss the times that uh, we'd talk and just, not even talk about wrestling, just, I'll just miss you as the father figure in my life that you were. I'll miss you. I'll never forget you. You'll always be with me. I love you, brother. All right, my name is Robert Thompson. I started back in 1992. I was Roland Alexander's first student at All Pro Wrestling. Uh, he basically was there for me most of uh, my wrestling career, all of my wrestling career, actually. Uh, he was there for my child's birth, for my father's death, for everything in between. And uh, I just want everybody out there to know that uh, he's like a father to me. Um, I will always love him. He will always be a part of me and my family's life. And uh, everything that I do from here on out will be for him. Uh, I love you, Pops. This is the bad boy, Boyce Legrand. I just wanted to say thank you to the man, the myth, the legend, Roland Alexander, the godfather of APW. He let me live my dream. He gave me the opportunity to step foot in that squared circle. And I know that APW was his dream. And I hope APW can move on, can live on, can continue to go and do what it's always done, tear down the walls, break down the barriers. Man, I remember when I first started back in 97, we were packing that garage, the famous APW garage, having the best shows, sitting in the war zone, and man, Roland Alexander was right there along with it all. Again, he helped me live my dream, and I would just like to thank him personally from the bottom of my heart, thank you, Roland, for letting me live my dream and my opportunity. Thank you. My name is Sparky Ballard. I'm an APW boot camp graduate. I'm also the current senior official of All Pro Wrestling. Um, because of Roland Alexander, he brought All Pro Wrestling to my hometown of Pacifica, and that's where I honestly fell in love with uh, independent wrestling. And it was because of Roland Alexander that he had a school in Hayward and uh, I got a chance to live my dream of becoming a pro wrestling referee. Being because of Roland Alexander and his standards for pro wrestling at APW, he brought out the best in me that I didn't even know I had. Um, he taught me so much. He, uh, because of Roland Alexander, he opened up his uh, office door and told me that I could come in and ask him any questions anytime I wanted. Roland always joked around that he didn't think that anybody could humanly possibly ask him so many questions at one time, but he, because of Roland Alexander, he sat there and gave me answers to every question that I had. And if he didn't know, he would point me in the right direction of what I needed to go to find out the information that I needed. Because of Roland Alexander, I was inspired to start my own promotion called Gold Rush Pro Wrestling in my hometown of Pro Pacifica, where it all started all because of Roland Alexander. Because of Roland Alexander, I feel like I'm a better person and, and I hold the same standard that he expected and demanded of all of us. And I plan on pushing that into the future for the rest of the, uh, the students and, uh, and the talent around me that I'm always going to be willing to help and give my knowledge forward because that's what Roland Alexander would want. And he's going to be missed. I love you, Roland. My name's uh, Jeff Cobb. Um, I first initially met Roland Alexander back in 2012 in March. Uh, we flew up, uh, a bunch of us from Hawaii flew up, and um, one of my best memories of, besides seeing him on the Beyond the Mat DVD, uh, we went to, we had a, uh, we did a pro camp, and we were jet lagged and, and hungover, um, but we had fun, but he, he looked at us and he went to the back and he's like, those damn Hawaiian kids, they suck. Uh, but 
that we did the show came out really well uh he gave a standing ovation he got he gave us good standing ovation uh and gave us some good advice as well and after that i i, I appreciate every advice that he did and every show i saw him at I always look to him try to find uh any any feedback whether it be good or bad and uh and i will miss that at every show uh being afraid that he's going to call me over and chew my ass out for something that i did bad um whether it be something something so simple as bumping wrong or not protecting myself but um i will miss that uh the words of encouragement whether it be good or bad at every show that i go to my name is adam thornstow um wasn't originally a roller Roland Alexander guy. Um, I wasn't trained at APW. Uh, my first match in APW was in 2002, and Roland absolutely shit all over it. Didn't like me. Um, saw me again, I think, in 2006 or seven when Jekyll's the Jester debuted uh, at PCW, and he was in the ring with me. And uh, Roland uh, took a liking to me then, so I'd really uh, worked on my craft. Uh, I was terribly out of shape at the time. I hated the wrestling business at the time. It's like the only time I've ever been out of shape, too. Right, Roland? But um, he's all, Adam, uh, you've gotten a lot better. You're actually really good now. Pulled a great match out of Jekyll's, but mm, you don't really have a body. You're kind of fat. I'm like, this fat motherfucker calls me fat, right? But, you know, um, it, it was the motivation that uh, I needed. I got right back in shape. Uh, Roland thought it was a brilliant angle to bring the scum into APW. We were getting death threats. Um, put both belts on me. I'm only the second guy in his company's history to ever do that. Um, then we got fired. And Roland kept emailing me. He's like, well, I'm going to bring you back. I'm going to bring you back. Hired another booker, John, Rilo John LaRocca, and um, got hired back. Had a bunch of good matches, a bunch of good tag matches. Uh, Luster and I ran our mouths. That booker fired us through Roland, <laughs> and he's like, oh, I'm really sorry, just lay low, get your back, apologize to LaRocca, you know, water under the bridge, Roland got his back, and uh, then Marcus Mack took over, you know, and biggest honor was Roland put the Universal title back on me, and uh, made me the face of his company, you know, he always said so many positive things about Tim Thatcher and me. About how it's you know you know the beyond the mat thing. It was a shame that we don't have a contract, or whatever. But I always appreciated working for him and uh, miss him a lot. I'm gonna thank him a lot for all the talks. I'm not gonna get into that. I'll always cherish. You know, uh, I learned so much from Owen. So thank you very much. Uh, rest well, my friend, and I appreciate everything you did for me. Um, good evening. My name is Timothy Thatcher, and uh, I started working with Mr. Alexander for All Pro Wrestling in 2008. Uh, the, the first night there, after my match, I had it with Dylan Drake. Uh, Roland came back and and was curious. He looks at me and goes, who trained you? I said, the big, ugly J.D. Bishop in Sacramento. And uh, ugly was a man that Roland didn't get on quite well with for, for a long time. And uh, he nearly fell on the floor. And he looks at me, he says, you can't be, you're too good for that. And Mr. Alexander was very kind to me at all times, like nothing but positivity towards me and all this. But he told me, he told me when he didn't like stuff as well. Uh, I remember one time I was working in the garage, and I was standing in the hall changing in the corridor, as I always do, and he, he, he just walks out of the office, he looks at me, he goes, you're a terrible baby face, you look terrible in trunks, and I'm going to talk to see if it changes. I'm like... Yes, sir. Good for you, sir. Uh, but always would come up to me and say, is tonight going to be the night? I'm like, what is that, sir? He's like, is tonight you're going to have a bad match? I'm like, I've had lots of bad matches, sir. He's like, I've never seen one. So very kind man and, and near the end of his go really uh, took the time. As I said, he, had, he didn't get on with Ugly at the start, but they, uh, they got on at the end, and that's a really important part. So he'll be missed. And... I appreciate all the kind words he said to me. Hi, my name is Richard O'Shea. I'm a local independent wrestler here in the state of California. And Roland Alexander uh, was the godfather of this area. And he was a pot, melting pot of knowledge. Uh, Roland Alexander taught me a lot in the business once I had already been in about the small things, the things that a lot of people don't pay attention to, you know, key factors, uh, you know, 
just small tips to, to psychology and, and how to structure things a certain way and just how to develop being a heel. And it's, uh, it's the small things like that that really separate someone from learning pro wrestling and someone from really understanding pro wrestling. And it's, it's that knowledge that was passed on to me through Roland that I'm going to continue to pass on to others uh, that want to become professional wrestlers in this area and all over the United States if I have a chance to. Uh, and for that, I say thank you, Roland Alexander. You truly are the godfather, and you will truly be missed. Uh, my name is Joseph Rodriguez. Um, I wrestle as Jekyll's Jester. I was actually trained by APW. Roland Alexander was there. Um, a lot of people um, took a lot from Roland. Um, what I personally took from Roland is... Um, Years ago, for years, I watched uh, NorCal as it was segregated with APW and everybody trying to get into APW. Uh, 2008, the ball pretty much got broken down and everybody kind of went off and did their thing. And NorCal guys were just became NorCal guys. There was no APW guys. There was no Bushido guys. There was no um, SPW guys. There was no no certain type of guy. It was just a NorCal guy. So. The, the one thing I can say about Roland is he did a lot. He did a lot for NorCal. He pretty much started what NorCal is today, and I really appreciate that for Roland. He gave me my start. Um, I, hopefully I can do something with this and become um, uh, something to make Roland proud of me. Um, I think Roland was already proud of everybody when he, when he went. Um, but um, for me personally, I hope that uh, hope Roland's watching down and he's proud of all of us for what we're doing. So, Roland, you started this. Um, we're going to finish it. Thank you. Hey, my name is Mustafa Saeed. Um, thing I think about with uh, Roland Alexander is that he was full of uh, knowledge, had a lot of passion about the business. Uh, I think that at times uh, I would grab a lot of knowledge from him, talking to him, and also found out that he was, he was a pretty good guy, you know. Um, had no problems uh, with him at all, uh, but I did. I, I think a lot of times, it, it, a lot of things were taken for granted with him. Uh, he was willing to work with a lot of people, and a lot of people probably had different opinions about him. And, uh, but sometimes you had to fight through the fight through the the walls that's that's up because some of them are very delusional and. Uh, he was a good guy. He had a, a big heart. Uh, he really cared for the guys. Uh, and he cared for the ones that cared uh, for the business, you know. Uh, if other people don't really feel like that, you know, uh, had a, 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 he had a, a affectionate smile sometimes. You know, you smile, man, and, you know, it'll be like, hey, man, it's going to be all right today. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be uh, cool tonight to work, you know, and uh, – Man, he would give you knowledge and he'd tell you uh, a lot of things back in the old days that if guys would even try some of that stuff these days, the younger guys, uh, I promise they would be very successful in this professional wrestling business. Uh, you know, uh, I always told him that I was an entertainer first, you know, and everything. Uh, I like entertaining, I always did. And uh, wrestling just happened to be the second thing I, I like to do. Uh, but uh, he, he's going to be a big loss uh, because there's a lot of history behind this man, and it's, it's, it's going to be missed, and I'm going to miss him. And so I uh, thank you for giving me this time to talk about it. Hi, my name is Marcus Mack. And for over 17 years, I had the privilege of knowing Mr. Roland Alexander. Roland took a punk kid who used to steal cars to come to wrestling shows at the APW garage in Hayward, California and let him sleep in his ring when those cars would get towed away. Roland took me up and down the West Coast as a child. <laughs> I don't even know why. Why he would take that risk to take somebody like that under his wing at such a young age. But I'm so very grateful that he did. Thank you for everything you ever did for me Roland thank you for uh allowing me to live my live my dream you always say it, that all you need is APW and a dream you had faith in me Roland you helped me get all over this planet doing what I love to do and that's write stories 
and be part of a very amazing, amazing art form. Roland, you had the faith in me to tell my stories in your building with little critique for a long time, and that meant the most. Roland, I'm going to miss our four-hour phone calls. I'm going to miss sitting up till 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, my wife coming into my office and saying, why the fuck are you on the phone with Roland Alexander and not in bed with me? Roland, baby. I know you're in a better place now, and I know you're in no more pain. And remember one thing. Just because you're not here doesn't mean that I won't keep my promise fulfilled. APW will never die. It's APW for life. Roland, I love you, buddy. One love and Godspeed.